Hello guys and welcome to another NASCAR Diecast review. Today's review is going to be on the 2017 William Byron Phoenix win. First, let's get onto the box and the contents of the box. You get your normal winner card. Pause it right there if you'd like to read it. Here's the back. Again, pause it right there if you'd like to read it. Comes with your winner card, certificate of authenticity for the autograph. And the Lionel Garage thing, but that doesn't really matter. So let's get on. Oh wait, first let's get on the box. Jump the gun too quick. First you have your normal 2017 winter box, but with the Xfinity series. Again, you have the prototype of the car, which I prefer more than the uh, than the render of the car. So I I hope they would. I wish they would switch to that. It looks better. And another one of these things. I love just popping them. It's so satisfying. I don't know why I do that. I just do. There were a total of 973 made, so under 1,000. 2017 race schedule on the back. I never knew why they put the race schedule on the back, because these always come out after the race is over. So what's the point? Especially like the later cars. Like, they don't even come out in that season. So I never understood the season thing, but whatever. And that's your box. Let's get on to this fantastic die cast. I am going to give Lionel 100% props for this one because this is fantastic right here. Let's get on the 360. I will shut up for this part. Okay, let's get into the race damage. So first off, on the, the nose is pretty clean. It's a Phoenix win, so it's not the most dirty thing in the world. But on the top, you got a lot of confetti. Surprised they got the signature on it. Pretty pretty good. You got some tire rub on the on the on the little on, on, on the tire. Can't talk today. Again, you have that sticker. I don't know what it is. Is that William Byron the is that the right font? I don't know. Let me check his uh, Homestead Championship one. It is correct on that one and the Indy one. I don't know why I thought that it was different. Huh, weird. Don't know why I thought that was different. It looks weird. There you go. Den is six fifty. Get no right side window because no left side window oh my god no it is right side yeah oh my god i cannot talk wait so is it from the front of the car's view because if it was the front of the car it'd be left side if it's the back of the car it's right side is it do they determine that by the back or the front okay i don't know this is where it gets good all the damage see that that is where he uh, blew out a tire the uh, tire's actually all uh, scraped up, and it sounds cool when you roll it. Kind of drags along the table. So yeah, I, I, I like that touch. I really only got this car because uh, I want to get his uh, championship run cars, and he still need to get his Daytona and Iowa race versions, but I'm not a huge fan of the paint scheme, so I really don't know if I'm going to get them. But I would like to complete the set, but I really don't like the schemes. I like the Liberty University schemes. So, uh, yeah. Let's get on to the opening part. Again, as I said in the last video, I wish they would just cut the engine out and make it sit right. This one sits better than the Homestead one, but still not very good. It, it could be better. But it's still a lot better than the Homestead one. That one was just bad. I tried unscrewing all the screws and screwing them back in. That didn't work. So, I don't know. There's a signature. All oh, the confetti. Wow, that's a lot of confetti. Let's go on the sponsors. You got Liberty University, Camaro, Junior Motorsports. Got all your contingencies right there. 21 means 21. Number 9, Liberty University. Brand it. I thought there was a Junior Nation of Pretty Aviation Tour sticker on this one. Is it on the prototype? It is not on the prototype. That's weird. I could have sworn there was one on here. 
but um yeah uh yeah uh, it's got liberty university camaro and the size is exactly the same so yeah uh this pretty much concludes the review i would recommend it it's a very good race version and there's only under a thousand made and byron fans are going to want this one because it was the road to his championship so if you want it, I get it, because once it disappears, it might be hard to find, like his standard paint scheme. That one's like $70 on eBay, and it's just a gold series. So, um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it on, on this car. Uh, this has been a review of the 2017 William Byron uh, Phoenix win. Thank you for watching.